Greetings and welcome to another gear companion video, featuring all the new gear you can receive in patch 6.5. Starting with the lowest item level on the Void Moon gear pieces, received in the new dungeon Luna Subterrain. This set is staring a 635 item level and provides you with a solid foundation to get started into the higher gear levels, while granting you access of entry to higher level content. Just note that you need item level 620 to access this dungeon and of course a certain progress in the main scenario quest, so you can start this from scratch. Which kinda can be applied for the augmented Diadokos gear that consists of 650 item level pieces, who are basically upgraded crafted battle equipment, while not offering slots for penta melding that the original Diadokos gear does, but most of the times you get a decent upgrade to your character's power level, so let's see how to get these items. First you need Divine Rain, which you can get by exchanging a Lagan Tombstones of Causality. Then whatever gear piece you're selecting, you need basically the exchange value of one Diadokos piece in 1 to 1 transfer ratio. These can be crafted or bought off the market board. But if you already got some of these from the previous patch, make sure to remove the inserted materia or otherwise you will lose them in the exchange process. Now select the tab to exchange Diadokos gear against certificates and exchange the item you just unmelded or got elsewhere. Then, with the Divine Rain and the certificates in your pocket, go to Receive Augmented Diadokos gear and select the gear pieces you want by trading in the two before mentioned currencies. Et voila, 650 in no time. Next up, which I absolutely recommend doing on a weekly basis from now on, is the 24 people alliance raid Thalea. In there you can receive impressive items with item level 650 that not only look amazing but offer some decent upgrade value over some augmented Diadokus items, when they offer better stats for example. If you're not sure about the best stats for your job, check out my best stats for each job video in the description. And while being limited to one item per week, the story doesn't end here as you can also receive a special coin, namely the Thalea coin, upon defeating Thalea's final boss, which is also limited to one per week. This brings us to the next big upgrade that now is also available for non-raiders. Namely upgrade materials to the weekly limited tombstone credendum gear. While the acquisition of the base credendum gear through tombstones of comedy hasn't changed, now you can also receive divine twine and divine shine through the alliance raid coins or sack of nuts. The first being able to upgrade all the slots on your left side, so basically everything except accessories and weapons, while shine does upgrade your accessories. And the tokens that you need for weapon upgrades will follow on a later patch or you get them by doing savage. If you collected some Aglaia and Euphrosyn coins as preparation for the patch and completed Thalea as well, you can now exchange one coin of each raid against one divine shine or twine. But before rushing off to do that, remember that in Old Charlian at the harbor, another NPC's arsenal of goodies is also extended and she offers the twine and shine too for sack of nuts. The difference here, shine costs a bit less than twine, so try to upgrade your left side gear with the coins from the alliance raid, while using sack of nuts for the accessories. But if you're a fair A rank train passenger, don't worry about that too much because you're not limited by time or weekly restrictions. So when you got the upgrade material, visit Kaldin in the usual trading alley in Razatan and trade in your divine shine or twine plus the normal credendum gear piece to receive your item level 660 upgrade. These upgraded credendum items will go hand in hand with savage gear to form your best in slot until dawn trail. So just keep doing the raid on a weekly basis or do your A rank trains to receive sack of nuts and you're good to go for the expansion. And just before the savage tier of weapons and the final stage of the Mandeville relic or before the upgrade materials is also available for non-raiders, which will come in patch 6.55, you can get the void vessel weapons received from the extreme trial of the 6.5 final trial boss. Just visit Nesvas in the trading alley that you also got your raid coin upgrade exchange from and he will trade in tokens against weapons, if you haven't received them from the coffer on the boss directly. And of course, like in every other patch, there are multiple glamour items being added, like the Smaragdine weapons that you can craft or buy off the market board or the new PvP series level 25 reward in the form of the Fierce Tyrant set, received from participating in Crystalline Conflict and leveling up your series rank to level 25 but also the new trophy crystal rewards in the form of the model tactical set with a great cyberpunk vibe to it that you can perfectly combine with many other glamour pieces. But also lots of mounds or island sanctuary gear, so leave your island or my mount showcase video a visit. And that's it for now, refer to all the savage gear upgrades with my 6.4 gear compendium and stick around for the relic finale and new upgrade materials for non-raiders coming very soon. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy and keep loving Final Fantasy.